everyone, I'm back um, to show you some of the altered shoes that I've worked on. Um, now, what I look for when I go to thrift shops, um, I usually uh, look for these little ceramic shoes and they come in different sizes. I kind of like the larger ones now. I used to do a lot more of the smaller shoe, but I've kind of um, grown to like these uh, larger ones. You can do so much more with them. So um, I love the, uh, the stiletto or the pump style like that. And then there's this one again that's a little bit larger. They're ceramic. Now this one here, I'm sure you ladies have seen it. It's from a, um, uh, a scotch tape holder. So this one is a, it's a plastic or resin. It's a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do when I alter this one is I'll probably put a little rice bag underneath to give it some weight and then I will build on it. It's a little bit more of a modern take. And as you can see, I have uh, spray painted all of these in this uh, uh, creamy matte finish. And uh, the matte finish um, allows the um, embellishments to, to stick on a little bit better. So that's that one. <clears throat> so from these, we go to something like this. So this is the first one. And as you can see, it's a, a pump style. And what I wanted to try is uh, embellishing or covering one of the shoes in, um, in a doily. And I did that. And what I did first was I created the, um, the a little pink, uh, pink fabric base on the bottom. And then on top, I added uh, a, a doily and then snippets from the same doily um, to uh, embellish the uh, the shoe. Um, I used a little ruffle from the same doily all around. And then as you can see, I've added some pearls and uh, it's just turned out so pretty. I love this one. You can see the back with a little embellishment and the pearls. And then of course, it is a pin cushion um, with a little pretty um, stick pins. Now I'm not an expert on making stick pins. I've seen some out there that are absolutely gorgeous but uh, I'm very, uh, very simple in the stick pins. So I've made a couple just to add a little bit of interest and to show that it is a, um, a pin cushion. So that's the first one. Then I found a larger one. Again, this was ceramic, painted it out. And uh, so I had lots of uh, room to uh, really embellish this one um, in, a, in a different style. And I, I chose to do like a Marie Antoinette style. And I had this sequin top beaded um, in a pretty pale green. So I used a uh, green lining underneath and then on top I have glued on the, uh, the fabric, um, the beaded fabric from the, the top. And uh, I just built on it and it's just so delicate and pretty with a little bit of gold touches to it. And of course the, uh, the little uh, lace flap um, a little dangle pearl uh, embellishment here with the gold uh, medallion um, on the toe. And all around I've added, actually, if you look inside, there's multiple layers of this uh, little box pleat trim, which I love with the gold inside. And then again, a couple of trims all around. And you can see I've uh, inverted the, um, the pearls rather than drop them down. I put them upwards uh, toward the uh, box uh, pleat trim and it really gives it a lot of richness and prettiness. The back, I've just encrusted it with uh, some pretty uh, appliques, uh, again, from another top that I had. And um, I always cover the bottom with felt so that uh, when you put the shoe down, depending where you put it, it doesn't uh, ruin your furniture. So I really love the way that turned out. And again, I've added, whoops, I've added a few of the, uh, the stick pins and the coordinating colors. And uh, it's quite large, as I said, it's almost, I would say a real size shoe, but only in ceramic. So that's that one there. The next one is kind of cute. Um, I found this uh, mule style shoe and um, it was kind of different. And so what I did was I just covered it again in a, a pale pink um, lining. And on top of it, I had avocado dyed some uh, pretty um, uh, laces, uh, wedding dress uh, trims. And I've just layered it on top. 
and uh, just bordered the, the shoe all around in this beautiful uh, braid trim. And uh, as you can see, it's an open back, so I've just trimmed off again with some uh, braid trim at the back. I've added this uh, beautiful pearl uh, um, accent on the, uh, on the little loop trim that I had. And uh, again, the coordinating uh, lining was uh, ruffled up and placed in the opening of the shoe. And uh, again, I repeated the lace on the top with a little uh, pearled applique. A beautiful vintage uh, dangle pearl um, uh, earring on the top and again I used the felt on the bottom to finish it up and a couple of pretty stick pins into the cushion and that's the mule style I thought that was really cute I wanted to try something different the next shoes are actually ballet shoes and they are um, authentic ballet shoes from Freed of London. I don't know where he got them, but Hubby got uh, wind that I love the ballet shoes and I like to alter them. So he came home with a couple of these pairs. And as you can see, these ones I have not touched yet, but they are brand new, never used. I had done a, um, a vintage pair in the past, but these ones have never been used. And these will be my second uh, project, but I'll show you the ones that I've just completed. And as you can see, I've just transformed this, uh, these ballet shoes uh, completely by lining the entire uh, inside of it with uh, um, wedding dress applique, pearls, rhinestones, just beautifully lined inside. And then on the top, uh, again, I've just layered um, bits of uh, wedding dress applique of the pearls and uh, with this beautiful uh, crystal piece on the top and uh, a little bit of lace trim all around and um, a little backing just to add a little bit of interest on the back because the sides I pretty well left um, intact uh, to show the pretty uh, peachy color of the ballet shoes. And then I've had to add these uh, gorgeous little uh, ribbons, ties uh, to the shoes and again, um, that's the uh, the finished pair, and they were so much fun to make. I love these. Um, if I find any ballet shoes, I always grab them. So this is um, this will be my third pair of these, and uh, I've got one more to go whenever I have the time. So anyway, ladies, uh, thank you so much for watching. It's great to be back, and uh, I um, I'm really having fun with my Etsy shop, and I thank you so much for all your support. Uh, these little projects, including the pillows, will be uh, posted on Etsy at some point. So again, ladies, thank you very much for watching, um, and uh, I don't know if I'll be back before the Christmas break, but I want to wish you and your families the best of, of the holiday season. Merry Christmas to all and God bless you. See you soon. Bye for now.